Hello YouTube, it's Jess. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing uh, YouTube vlogs instead of all the fun stuff of motorcycles and pistols and uh, my dogs and whatnot. Um, but on a serious note, um, I've got another health scare. For those that know me, know I was diagnosed with cancer November 10th of 2015. Um, after a few tests and whatnot, I started chemo and radiation in December. I had seven weeks every freaking day of radiation and chemotherapy. Um, the chemo I was on was cisplatin. It was a very mild chemo. As you can see, I was able to keep my hair. Um, thank goodness. Uh, a woman's hair is her everything. So, um, I finished treatment February 5th of 2016, so it wasn't too long ago. I just recently had a PET scan done, and the PET scan done, was done because um, we wanted to know if the treatments that I had worked and got rid of the cancer. Well, I had the PET scan done last Monday, May 16th. May 17th, I got a call from my doctor, and I could hear in his voice that it was not good news. Um, the treatments did not work and my cancer did get worse and it spread all over my back. A lot of my lymph nodes on my back are infected with cancer. A lot. Um, and he didn't give me a very good high chance of surviving so that kind of sucks too because I'm not ready to go. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think I'm done with the crying and the grieving it's like you know it is what it is um so um i had an appointment yesterday to go in to get a port um implanted into my chest when i had uh my chemo um just this last time they did it by accessing a vein in my arm um but this time since I'm going to be doing three different types of chemo and they're very strong aggressive chemos. It's going to kill my veins off. So instead of getting poked all the dang time like I did last time, like I look like a drug addict. Like I had track marks and bruises all over my arm from um, them trying to access a, a vein to um, give me my chemo. So yesterday I went in to the Siteman Cancer Center in St. Louis and I had a implanted into my chest and this is what it looks like um, I'll be inserting pictures so you can see them a little bit better um, but unfortunately I had a band-aid covering my port which is this little you can see it's kind of raised up right there that's the port um, I had a band-aid going this way and the adhesive accidentally stuck to the super glue that's on top of the cut. What they did was they um, they cut me open, inserted the port here, and then um, the catheter, you can actually feel it coming all the way up here to this cut and it connects to my jugular vein. Anyway, so the, the um, they sutured underneath and then they super glued um, the top of the cut. The adhesive accidentally got onto the super glue, so when I was peeling the bandage off, um, the uh, super glue came off as well, and I started bleeding. So now I have that. So that's how they access a vein to um, do my chemo is through the port. So after I got that in, I went straight to chemo. Um, that was at 10 o'clock. Um, after starting the chemo, I ended up having an allergic reaction. Um, my heart rate went way up. My throat started to swell. I had a very hard time breathing. Um, my nurse came in, she disconnected me from that chemo drug, and um, she shot me in my arm with an EpiPen, which really hurt. <laughs> After her holding in there for five seconds, I'm like, all right, that's enough. She goes, I got to count to 10. I'm like, okay. Um, oh, and then I've got this on my arm too, which sucked. Um, it promotes more uh, white um, blood cells and helps fight infections. Um, and that thing can come off uh, 9.30 tonight. I think it's supposed to be like 27 hours I keep it on there um, I'll get those 
every time I'm done with chemo, they'll throw one on my arm. And the thing is, it, it beeps several times, and then the next thing you know, it shoots a needle into your arm and then um, gives you the, the medication that's inside of it. You can't get it wet, there's all these rules and whatnot. Um, anyway, so with the chemo that I'm um, doing right now, it's three different types. It's pretty aggressive chemo and the sad thing is is that I will be losing all my hair. Every strand of hair on my body is going to be gone in the next two, two and a half weeks. All this hair, it's going to be bye bye. So instead of waiting for it to fall out, because um, a woman's hair is her everything, you know. So instead of waiting for it to fall out, I'm actually going to get it all cut off and I'm going to donate it. I'm doing that tomorrow. I'm going to have a really short, short, short man's haircut. And uh, I cannot picture myself with short hair. I've always had long hair. Um, so I'm doing that tomorrow. Um, I think it'd just be a lot easier on me to have my hair fall out when it's this long rather than this long. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, and I'll give you, um, I don't know, I guess I'll give you updates maybe <sighs> um, as this goes on. I'll be dealing with uh, these treatments for the next 18 weeks and then we'll do another PET scan and hopefully with our fingers crossed that the chemo works and kills off the cancer. Um, I still have a lot of riding years in me. I, there's so much more that I want to do, you know. I, I'm, I'm 34 years old and I still feel like I've got another 34 in me. So, um, oh, and I want to show you guys this. I have these medals right here. Um, my girlfriend actually sent them to me. She was diagnosed with cancer when we were really young. We were in our early teens and she had them blessed. Um, she wore them every day that uh, she had cancer. Every day that she went to radiation, every day that she went to chemotherapy, she wore them and um, eventually she beat cancer and it's been a good 17, 18 years that she's been cancer free. She's doing really good. So she sent those to me so I had them um, for Monday, yesterday to go in and have my port done and my chemo done. So I plan on wearing them every day um, when I'm awake, when I'm asleep, during my treatments. I mean. They're going to be on me 24 hours a day. I'm going to find a way to keep them on me 24 hours a day. So anyway, um, I'll probably post uh, a few pictures and um, a video of uh, yesterday. And um, yeah, everybody, take care. Sorry, I'm trying to not be in the way of your Oh, camera. no, you're good. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I flush it with is saline, and that kind of rinses out the line and the little chamber inside. And the second thing is a heparin solution. And that is because little things kind of float through and they want to hold on to the end of the catheter and kind of cover the end. And this makes the end of it slippery so nothing will stick to it while it's not being used. Mm. It'll always get flushed with that after it's done mm, being used. Okay. Mm -hmm. So today when I, usually going in and coming out mm -hmm. is not really painful. There's kind of the stick, the needle stick going in, mm -hmm. but it, yours will be just a little more tender here for a few weeks while it heals. It's kind of bruised inside. So will right. I get lidocaine to put on my port before coming in for chemo or is that something that you guys will do when I get here? So it's called Emla Cream. And you should have a prescription called into your pharmacy by Lucy. Mm -hmm. And we can double check on that. And you will put that on one to two hours before you come. Okay. And you'll put like a big, like a nice fat glop right on the top. And you um, cover it like with saran wrap. You don't mm -hmm. want to cover it with gauze because the gauze soaks that back up. And you want that to be on your skin. So like a little saran wrap. A lot of people use press and seal it kind of sticks to the mm -hmm. skin and you want to see a nice white glop right on top mm -hmm. and at least one hour can be two hours and then it you don't feel a stick 
It's new, it's bruised. You're still going to feel a little pressure until that heals, but mm -hmm. no stick. Okay? Mm -hmm. Coming out, a little pressure. Mm -hmm. And they're super tight, I'm sorry. It's mm -hmm. brand new. Mm -hmm. It's out. Okay. Done. You did good. So this right here, you, the edges of my finger, this that is the actual port. Mm -hmm. Like that is an edge of it. That's where the catheter is anchored, and there's your little underneath incision. You have mm, decent little bruising right here, but not bad at all. It looks really good. I know it doesn't tell you, but I've seen thousands of them. It looks really good. 